Welcome everyone, I'm Joe DeLongware and today we're gonna to review the Husqvarna 40 volt electric blower. So let's get started. So before starting today's video, I just wanna let everyone know Husqvarna did send me out this electric blower to test out and to review so I can put it up on YouTube so you guys get an idea of what their electric blower line looks like and what it sounds like and how it works. So what's really nice about Husqvarna's electric lineup is their battery is very versatile with other items that they sell as well. So that's what's really cool. A lot of those big name you know, electric suppliers right now, they're having their batteries interchangeable. So that's really cool about their line as well. So this is their 40 volt electric blower. There are uh, definitely a lot of pros and there are definitely a lot of cons as well with this electric blower, but I'll go into detail about the cons a little bit later. But for right now, the, some of the pros that I like, I definitely like the nozzle on this uh, blower. It, it doesn't have a big end. It kind of gets, it has, it's kind of big at the big beginning here and it gets skinnier down at the bottom. And what I really like about that is, is having that skinnier end, you can e push more leaves or more debris a lot easier. I figure, if the, if I see when, when you have those bigger nozzles, the wider nozzles, they don't blow as well. Um, just because the, the pressure or the airflow is so more diverse when it comes out where you have a you know skinnier tube where it's more direct to what you're hitting uh, one of the things about their blower is is they have this they call it like a scraper um, and so it's basically if you're pushing or you got stuff stuck to the the ground like say if you have like wet grass on your sidewalk or in your driveway and you kind of want to knock that off you have this like a little scraper right here at the bottom I think that's pretty cool then coming up here at the handle, we have a bunch of great features on here. Let me hold it up to you in the camera. So obviously you have your on and off right here. So what you have to do is, is you have to press that down and then you'll see the green light pop up. Right here is a turbo nozzle. So you can click this on and it will stay on or you can click it off and it can stay off and you can just have the lower setting right here on the trigger. And then right here, you have a cruise control. I think this is really cool. Um, so what's basically, if you don't know what cruise control is, is basically you push this down, then you can hold, you, you can basically hold the trigger, the trigger stays in, it continue, to continuously blows. So that's pretty cool to have that cru cruise control. Uh, on another blower review that I did earlier on my channel, they did not have that cruise control. That was one of the cons that I gave it, um, just because sometimes you get tired of holding that trigger, so if you have that cruise control on, you don't have to worry about having your finger always on the trigger. Then coming up to the battery here, just like a lot of batteries, you have a button right here. It's gonna be hard to see because of the sun right now, but you have three different lights right here. If it's fully charged, all three are gonna be lit up obviously. And then as it goes down, you're gonna see less lights on here. And then really easy to take the battery out as well. You just have two little triggers right here and you can slip this right in their charger their charger is very similar to any kind of battery powered charger you would see on the line lineup i always compare these chargers a lot to like say dewalt uh you know if you have a power drill at home you just take your battery off and you slip it on the docking station um so that's really easy to do and then when you want to use it you just click it back in and you're ready to go so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna turn on the high setting and the low setting just so you guys get an idea of what it sounds like and how powerful it is. So again, to turn it on, you're gonna hit the on button right here to make sure you see a green light right there. This is the low setting now. And now I'm gonna put on the high setting which is that button right there. And now this is the turbo setting. So obviously a noticeable difference between the low setting and the high setting there. Just note, like I did note on the other blower review that I did as well, if you're going to use a turbo setting, you're definitely gonna see a more, the battery's definitely gonna drain faster on the higher setting than the low setting. That's what I've noticed, especially with this blower here. If you use that high setting, it's gonna drain very quickly. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm in my backyard. I got a bunch of leaves down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow everything on the high setting. I'm gonna have my stopwatch right here on my iWatch right here, and we're gonna see how long it takes for this turbo now, the, on the turbo setting to see how, how long it takes to completely drain the battery. So let's get started on that.
Well, there you have it guys. It was only six minutes that that turbo lasted on my stopwatch here. It was exactly, I would say it's six minutes, 10 seconds. We'll just round it to six minutes. Um, obviously that is the con to this blower. Uh, having it on the turbo setting is it really drains that battery very quickly. I mean, six minutes is not a lot of time. As you guys could see, I was able to blow pretty much my whole backyard. I didn't have a ton of leaves on at this time. Um, so my backyard is about 2,000 square feet, just to give you guys an idea. Um, obviously, it moved the leaves, no problem, especially on that turbo setting. Obviously, if you don't use the turbo setting and you use the lower setting, obviously the battery will last longer. How much longer? I'm not really 100% sure. Uh, just because I like using the turbo setting, it gets things done a lot quicker. Obviously, if you had two batteries and you had a backup battery that was already charged, you could throw that in and you continue to blow. Obviously, that's another con to battery powered equipment is if you don't have a backup battery, you're, you're pretty much stuck. You know, you don't, it's not gas. You can't just put more gas in it. You're relying on the battery and how fast it charges. So obviously, powered equipment, battery powered equipment, especially blowers like this, they're obviously better for smaller jobs, smaller yards like I have in my backyard is 2,000 square feet. If I was cutting my front lawn, obviously I could bring this out real quick and blow off my sidewalk if I really wanted to. If this thing was just a little bit stronger, maybe even maybe a 60 volt, if it could last at least, I would say at least 15 minutes on the higher charge, I think that would be a lot better. And obviously if you buy two batteries, you have that back up just in case. So when it comes down to it, I think Husqvarna, they are on the right path. They're on the right idea when it comes to especially their blower right here. They have that turbo setting. They have that cruise control. I think those are two great features to have in a blower, especially that cruise control. I know how it gets tiring to hold that trigger in all the time, especially if you're doing like a big leaf job or if you're doing just a constant stream of blown where you don't need to worry about having the, the trigger. Definitely having that cruise control is a big key. So I think Husqvarna, they are on the right path there. Uh, for longevity of the battery. I think that's something they definitely have to work on. I think a lot of battery powered uh, suppliers out there, a lot of battery uh, people that have the, com the companies that are supplying these battery powered equipment. I definitely think they're all on the right path. When it comes down to battery powered, in my opinion, it's just, it, it, it's longevity. It's the, how long can this battery last for on a single charge when you're doing something? Obviously, if you don't have a backup, like I talked about earlier, you're stuck. Gas power, you just throw gas, right back in there and you can keep on going so i think if these battery power manufacturers can just figure out an idea how these batteries can last longer and keep the size of the battery to where they are that's the key going forward in this battery powered equipment so i want to thank husqvarna for sending out their electric blower to me to test out as you guys know i like to try and be as honest as possible when i do a review I don't want to come off like I'm just promoting the blower so you guys have to buy it at home. Honestly, you don't have to buy this at all. I just think this is a, it's a it, they're in, headed in the right direction, Husqvarna. I think they have, a, like I said, they have a lot of great features in their blower. If these battery uh, manufacturers, if they can just figure out how to have a longevity on these batteries so they last longer on a single charge, I think we're headed in the right direction when it comes to battery powered equipment. But for now, I honestly think this is great for it's just a small yard. I would say about 2,000 square feet or under if you're looking to just blow off grass off your sidewalk, small leaf jobs. If you if you do woodwork and you're, you want to blow out your garage with wood chips or wood saw dust, I think this is a great option here as well. You don't have to deal with the gas. And again, this is more geared to people that don't want to have to deal with the gas. They don't want to have to go to the gas station, fill up a gas can, and, and worry about the smell of gas. This is a great option. The only other thing that I will recommend is if you do want to use this a lot and you're going to, you know that you're going to use it a lot, I would definitely highly recommend you get two batteries. One obviously comes with the machine. And if you want to uh, have a backup battery, I would highly recommend you purchase another battery just in case. So with that, if you have any questions or concerns on today's video, leave them in the comment section below. If you found today's video helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. And like always guys, I'll see you in the next one.